That's right, we're gonna begin with Other World Spring of Shadows live streaming Saturdays, hitbox.tv slash your gibbs. Uh, welcome to all the folks that are in the chat. Uh, this is, uh, of course, a continuation of what we have already done last week. So this is like part two, if you will. So hopefully everything's working okay. I just need to know if uh, you guys can hear me just fine or not. And then uh, we will hit that play button. I just want to check out the settings here for a sec. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot going on here. <laughs> uh, more games. So yeah, the Awakening series is definitely one of their more popular ones. I guess Nightstone is too, but I mean they've made what six or seven of these awakenings, so it is what it is. So all right, well let's go. We've got to uh, get the show on the road here, so we're gonna continue. So before we get too far into this, let's... Oh yeah, that's right. Remember I said that was a pig, but it's actually a sheep. Let's have a quick peek at where we are in terms of our diary here. So we've got Fiona, who is a little girl that went missing. We have the Shade, who's a fey creature. We have a Dryad, which is a tree spirit. And we have a Hobgoblin, which is a strange, furry, naughty creature. <laughs> a naughty creature. We have the map here. Wow, it's really hard to read this, but... Uh, let's see, house, garden... Where do I go? Ah, and then we've got, of course... I guess stuff that we've been doing, right? So far, so good! Find some eggs for the hobgoblin! And uh, inventory-wise, I've got myself an ancient knife, a pitcher, a soap, and a wrench. I do have this locket. Which I only was able to put this one charm in there, which is kind of crazy. We've got four more to go. And a map, of course, is our official super duper map, which looks basically like the one I just looked at. And we're here at the barn. That's what we're doing. We are here. So let's go see what's uh, in the back of the barn. Sure, why not? So there's Baba -ba Black Sheep. Well, technically, White Sheep. <laughs> Pushing is not an option, but, 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 wouldn't that work the best? Uh, well, I don't, let's just see what kind of hay in the loft. Okay, yeah, so we were supposed to get the pitchfork. I can't recall where that pitchfork was, to be honest with you. We definitely are going to be spinning some yarn. Uh, there are scuff marks from the furniture here. I wonder if I could really find a needle in a haystack. Okay, but how am I supposed to actually do that? That looks like a little bird's nest, but it's out of reach. Not if I throw a bar of soap at it. Ah. Uh, so now what do we have here? This is a carding brush used to card wool and make it fine. Okay. So that doesn't help me at all. Oh, well, maybe there's something in here that I can look at. There's the pitchfork. So I guess we'll go and tackle the hay here. <laughs> Neat clumps. Sounds hollow when I knock on it. Well, we'll use our knife here. Pop that wide open. And car keys. That's kind of a strange place to hide car keys, but sure, sure. So we're going to need some sort of bag, I guess, for the hay. And let's find out what's inside this car. Open, please. Got some shears. Nice little basket. And that's it. Oh, there actually says scissors. Sure, sure, sure. I guess the basket isn't what we're going to want to use on the hay. Oh, well. Is there anything else over here that we have? I can weave yarn into cloth. Okay. How does that help me? Oh, well, yeah, I guess we're going to have to make a sweater. Yeah. Does this faucet even work? What if we just wrench it up? Yeah, get in there, wrench. Do what you do best. Well, hi, Paradise. Thanks for following, and welcome to the live stream. 
I don't want to waste water for no reason. Why not? We want to make some soap. Oh, you know what? That might help us with the little nest right there. Yeah. Eggs. Now the hobgoblin would like these, wouldn't he? Oh, they're rotten. Oh, boy. Oh, well, hi, Brandon. Welcome to the live stream. Well, welcome and hello to everyone that is watching. Hitbox.tv slash your gives. Uh, just as a reminder, I do live stream every Saturday. Either at 1 o'clock my time or 4 o'clock my time. And, uh... Always happy to have you folks here. So that's not going to help me out. i got to go find this. Uh, uh, oh, an empty bucket. I wonder if I'd enjoy a quiet life on a farm. Uh, we're going to make some soap bubbles. No. Oh, I do need soapy liquid, though. Alright. Uh, Kira, I mean, I have coupons to give away. I, I guess if you're offering, sure, I would think the folks wouldn't mind having a free game. There we go. We got our stuff. Our stuff. We got ourselves some water. And uh, let's go back and make some soapy water because why not? Who doesn't like soapy water? Let's see here. Put that in there. Got myself a bar of soap. Scrub a dub dub. <laughs> oh, it's some rotten eggs. No? Scissors? No. Okay. <laughs> what am I watching? Oh, they're taking a valuable email space? Wow. Yeah, that's so sad for you, Kira. Yeah, I've I finished the Surface Game of Gods. I Well, I haven't actually... Uh, uploaded the bonus chapter yet, but uh, yeah, it came out. It was a thing. And Final Cut 4 came out today, which was not a thing. It wasn't supposed to come out today. But yeah, there are... Uh, my sense is that they're kind of pushing to get some of these bigger games out before Thanksgiving. Uh, my sources are telling me that on Tuesday, the next Mystery Case Files is going to be coming out. Which is unusual, right? Normally they don't have big games coming out on a Tuesday. So yeah. It is that time of year. Okay, well, what am I washing then? All I need is something to wash. Scissors. Rotten eggs. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Jonathan, thanks for following. Welcome to the live stream. So what am I actually doing here? I'm still not sure. Ha 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 Leave the bucket. Give eggs to Hobgoblin. Okay, well let's go find this fella. Yeah, Mr. Case Files should be out on Tuesday. Which is exciting in its own way. Yeah, it's that time of year. Once a year. Now where was that Hobgoblin? Uh, yeah, that's right, number 11, if you can imagine that. Ooh, did Fiona know the Hobgoblin was watching her? Oh yeah, that's right. Now, where the heck was he hiding? There he is. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy your eggs. You know the rotten. <laughs> Rags, nom nom nom. See, look at that. All the nom noms. Now he wants clothes. <laughs> oh yeah, so we're gonna be stitching together some clothes for him. Make them all fancy. Let's see then. Well, does that actually trigger anything, or what's the deal here? The ring is too high, so that's not gonna do me any good. Uh, let's see if we can go down here. What am I going to need scissors for? These are just notes. No, I don't think so. Let's see if we can switch over to the barn. I don't remember anything that I can cut. That is my issue. 
and nor anything to wash, which is just what that just told me to do. Go back here and wash something. Okay. So how's that going to work out for me? So I've got myself a knife, I've got myself some scissors, and I've got a pitcher. Um, let's see. So I, I, if I go to the map, what does that do for me? This way. I don't, oh, he's got a fancy cane though. That actually might help me right here. Let's see if this will help out. Yeah, time to go to the attic. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, this is maybe we're gonna make a nice, cool outfit. All right, I'm excited. Oh, puzzle. Not excited about that part just yet. Uh, okay. Ooh, a chest full of buttons. <laughs> what? <laughs> Random buttons. Okay. <laughs> I want all the buttons, please. Is there like two per drawer? Maybe. Let's see if we can get... No. Who keeps drawers of buttons like this? This is a little bit crazy in my mind. I don't know, maybe I'm the normal one or not the normal one, but a whole dresser full of buttons? Really? Wow. And I got three more to go, sheesh. I'm gonna have to go through all the button drawers again. <laughs> oh, that one's locked. That one's locked, locked. So we missed one here, did we? I'm actually glad that they do lock these drawers once you find them all. That actually makes a huge difference. So then we got one more here. Now, where is it? There we go, yay, all the buttons. Oh, a chest full of buttons! <laughs> what? Uh, that's awesome. Whoa, what's going on here? This teaches me how to turn wool into cloth for sewing. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm supposed to be looking for fairies. Oh, yeah. That's good. I want to get to this sewing machine. I really am excited to get into this thing. My mother had a sewing machine just like this. <laughs> My mother still has a sewing machine not like that. What else is going on in here? We've got this thing here. Ah. Uh, hmm. I need to think about how I'm going to do this without too much pain and anguish. Just got to keep music going on here in the background. So this is probably got to go here. Sort of coming together. It's really hard to see this pattern. <laughs> White. There we go, yay! And it's definitely gonna be a cool pattern, for sure. Oh, look at the hobgoblin giving her Fiona flowers. Wow, that's actually adorable. Aww. Uh, no, I do not have a chest full of buttons in my house, or in my attic for that matter. 
My attic doesn't look anything like this. Uh, well, it probably has cobwebs, but it's insulation, and it certainly doesn't have a window. <laughs> no, it's not true. So we now have a pattern. Uh, we just have to figure out empty feed bag. Ah, we're going to put that on our sheep, are we? All right, we can do that. You have a chest full of buttons, really? Well, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a real thing. Yeah, let's put the feed there and make some hay. Why can I not put the feed there? There we go. Come on, grow your wool instantly. Yeah, it works like that, doesn't it? It's super fast growing hay. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> now I'm impatient. Yeah, certainly random buttons around the house, no doubt, but not a whole dresser full of them. Oh, look at that. I made the sheep bah five times. I could do that all day. Fine, we'll grab whatever this is. It's shears. <laughs> I get to do this. Sweet. Click on the sheep to shear. Wait, what? Wow. This is strange in its own way. Does it matter if I miss a spot? I don't know. I feel bad for the sheep, he's gonna be naked. Yay! It's dirty wool? Uh, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. He's been rolling around in the, <laughs> the dirt there. Alright, let... now I know what I need to wash. Oh, I gotta actually do it. Look at that. It's beautiful. He's naked. We'll just call it a he, because I don't want to say she's naked. Well, I just said it, but you know what I mean. We'll call it a he. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, it's uncarded. Fine, fine, fine. This reminds me of that tour I used to, I had when I was in like middle school. Where you go to that uh what do you call it? Like nineteenth century village or whatever, and you learn how to do all this old school stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Got myself a nice ball of yarn. Am I gonna dye this? I think it'd be cool to make it in Christmas colors. That would be awesome. Well, I guess we've got our buttons and we've got our yarn and we've got our cloth pattern, so let's go make some fabric here. Up, up, and away we go. No, that's not how you work this thing? Ah... Uh, maybe that's not how you... Okay, let's have a look here. Okay, what is this thing here? So I've got a few more things to do. Oh, well, no, actually, I don't even know what... A loom? Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm totally being a seamstress right now. This is very challenging for me. Where was the loom? Because I don't recall no loom. Oh, unless it was in the shed or in the garage. Let's go have a peek. Yeah, totally making some underwear right now. Uh, dun -dun. Maybe the loom's down here. Yeah, there it is. Why is this stuff all over the place? It should be all in one room. Um. Oh, it's a pattern thing. Oh, boy. So we are making a pretty cool fabric, though. So... I gather that... 
want us to be green. And then maybe this is yellow. Do the easy ones first, I suppose. So the next one is the one I'm not sure about. Well, as long as it repeats, it shouldn't be too difficult. Blue. Blue. Okay, and then orange. Orange, orange. And then red. Definitely a lot easier than the Nancy Drew tartan puzzle. That one was crazy. And then we've got some black here. Yay! That's awesome. <laughs> the best kind of underwear. So let's go and cut up some of our underwear. Back over here at the house. Put that on the table there. Put our pattern on top. Got the scissors. I'm not that bad at Taylor. Let's see if I can make this coat. Oh boy. I got a trace? Oh no. Oh, that worked. Good. Because my mother would be like, don't use the good scissors. But mom, I mean, all we have are good scissors. Yeah, my mother's done this an awful lot. I'm sure all of us have did this in high school, right? Didn't we have to take home ec? Or family studies, or whatever you call it? So now we've got that. Now we're going to totally be a seamstress. Go over here, put that there. Work the foot pedal. And work some magic. And some buttons too. Look at that sweater. That is the best sweater ever. Uh, let's go inside here and say, Hello, Hobgoblin. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> he needs a sack now? Wow, this guy just wants everything. Whoa, this book describes magical creatures. What the heck is this thing? A horse with a whale? Oh no. So I guess he's a good guy after all. Yay. The hobgoblin was convinced that a creature called a Kelpie knew something about Fiona's capture. You know those stories about Kelpies luring people underwater? If I had only listened, maybe I could have prevented what was about to happen. Chapter 3, The Monster. Oh, look, he's waving at me. I'm waving back. Hello, Hobgoblin. What do you want me to do next, mister? Pedestal. <laughs> oh, you're gonna just stand there and wave at me? Alright, that's good. I, I, I will allow it. This is the pedestal the Hobgoblin was talking about. Wow. It's a horse whale. Ooh, it's an angry looking thing. Who dares summon me, you foolish mortal? No one survives without offering something in return. You will pay me the same as the children who have come to these shores with your life. No! The monster loomed over me and I thought that was it. This was the end. But the hobgoblin, he jumped in front of me and the next thing I knew... Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> Seriously? I just made that sweater. I mean, I'm sad about the Hog Goblin too, but... Gar, 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 box sack. Oh, no. No. No, I don't want to play anymore. All that work to make a sweater for him. And feed him too, I had to get him rotten eggs. And he's gone. Gone forever. 
Ah, <sighs> well, what are we gonna do? I guess the show has to go on. We'll, we'll have a funeral for him or some sort of memorial, I think. Nah, I'm just sad. I was happy making the sweater, even though it was kind of crazy. Uh, I, now I'm just not sure. Was that Pippi Longstockings? I'm a little distraught right now, so I'm just gonna have to walk away from that horrific scene. The dilapidated, dilapidated, dilapidated. Ah, <laughs> oh, can't believe it. Seahorse is evil. I'm just running away. I don't want to talk about it, anyways. I need to cut off each rope, topmost first. Like I got a little tear in my left eye. It's kind of strange. Could be Glitterman's evil pet for sure. He probably rides on that thing. Wow. Whoa, it's a lady. Okay. That's interesting in its own way. Why is that? Uh, maybe he was snacking on her. I don't know. It was really hard to tell. Really hard to tell. Okay, wh where's Pippi Longstockings? Is that who that is? Really? It looks like a doll to me, but... Could be Raggedy Andy. That's who it could be. Well, maybe we need to get some water first. We don't get to take the doll with us? Darn. It's a little girl's purse and missing a shape for the flap. Wow, that is super crazy. Like, this little girl was eaten by that seahorse thing? Jeesh. What does Pippi Longstockings have to do with Swedish? Probably something obvious, but... I think she was on the uh, Canadian Broadcasting Company when... But, anyways. Yeah, see, I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> uh, whew. I don't even know where to go. I'm just so distraught now. Really, really shaken up over this whole Hobgoblin issue. So how am I going to summon him next so I can teach him some manners? <laughs> oh, maybe I need more water. No? Really? I like that I've been carrying around this pitcher forever. It has served to be quite useful so far. Gonna sew together the woman's face? Wow, that's just dark. Very dark. But possibly true. Uh, let's see here. It's a pretty mobile, but some of the weights are missing. I don't know what you want, mister. But I need to interrupt your uh, snack time here with dragon carving? No. Yeah, it feels dark, that's for sure. I, I've said before, like, music tastes, I kind of like everything. I don't really necessarily have any particular favorite band or anything like that. I watch music based, or I watch music, I listen to music based on my mood. So what did I, oh, I just got a fairy? Is that what I just did? Oh, is the dragon carving considered a knife? No. But it does go there, okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow, this whole, you guys have just gone seriously dark here in a matter of half an hour. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Come on, knife. There 
There you go. This mural of the Kelpie is still preserved. Fruit peeling. Okay. Maybe our little monkey friend would like some fruit peelings? No? You want some of this good stuff? No, you're too busy having your own meal, aren't you? Yeah, the Hobgoblin would have definitely made a dark turn for me, too. What are we doing here? Information. Click on the fruit to cross it out. Cross out all the fruit except the one that matches the clue. Uh, the monkey will eat only one of these, but which one? Say what? I'm not exactly sure... How I'm supposed to... This is basically the remnants of what he ate. Okay. So... Uh... Don't think it was this one. Couldn't have been that one, or that one, or that one. It's gotta be one of these stripedy ones. One, two, three... Four to choose from. Four to choose from. So... The stem, is that a, that's a clue, right? Somehow? Oh yeah, so it can't be that one. This has got an interesting bottom. So it can't be that one. So now I'm down to two choices here. There we go. Found it! Yeah, that was an interesting puzzle, for sure. Well, you had to look at the remnants of the fruit and figure out which one he wants. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I interrupt your meal time. Let's find out who this poor lady is. Oh, it's a dead woman. Oh, okay. Wow. Where are her eyeballs? Her magnifying glass has no lens. Her skin almost looks like porcelain. What did the shade do to her? Oh, boy. What is she, like, leaning on here? What is this? Maybe it's luggage or something? Ah, uh, sure. Okay, so I have rope. Now, why do I, why do I care? So the monkey's over here now. Hi, buddy! It's the monkey thief's nest! What is he doing, sniffing it? Hey, would you like a rope? No, you would not like a rope. He's got stuff up here for sure. What is he doing? I have this, I'll use it. Hmm. There was a cliff one when there wasn't there? got this box here and then maybe here there we go harder harder I haven't exercised like this in years <laughs> now I have a stick and I'm not afraid to use it maybe we can reach this bag now there we go I'm a little closer. Ooh. Another locked box. That's exactly what we needed. Oh no, the hot goblin must still have the key. How do I open it? Hmm. With a rubber strip. Like, why do I have a rubber strip? Uh. Sure, sure. Hmm. 
No, that's not going to work out for me. Oh, you know what? For this. Here we go. Now I need fuel for my slingshot. Let's put the dolly in it. I'm sure that would fling. Uh, so we need something to load up in our slingshot here. Let's go upstairs. Upstairs, yeah. Up the stairs. Uh, yeah. You wouldn't happen to have any little pebbles, would you? No? Okay, fine. I'm not sure if we're going to shoot this thing at him. Yes, we are! <laughs> what are we doing here? I should aim for the weights when they're in the clear. Am I doing this right? Let's see here. Click on the slingshot when you have a clear view of the weight. Oh. <laughs> this crazy monkey. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, fine, fine. I took them all, monkey. What do you think about that? How about them apples? So where are we supposed to put these? Oh no, no, this is going to go on the mobile. Okay, let's back up. Definitely a very different game, no doubt about it. And uh, different in a good way, I would say. The darkness of it is kind of, well, borderland disturbing, but... Okay, what am I doing here? Swap weights from the different sides. Okay. I see. Hmm. I want to go the other way. <laughs> I'm making this worse, aren't I? Yes, I am. Jeez. Finally! That's a very interesting puzzle, for sure. Oh wow, that just makes it come back, does it? Cool. Well, let's go inside. It's an old key duplicating machine. That doesn't sound like something an average gypsy would have. Or like a nefarious gypsy. A gypsy up to no good. Oh boy, I have to align the center knobs somehow. Huh. Round and round we go. So those two are fine. Tricky. So those two are fine. All right, I got it. Ooh, find pairs of related items. Wow, look at this cool doll. Speaking of dark. Alright, we've got pears in here, do we? A sock and a spoon. Aw, oh, why is that not a pear? A spider and a bottle. No. That's not how pears work. Oh, I see. They're related items. Got it. Ball and a sock. No. What the heck is... Oh, it's a shield. That goes together nicely. Uh, OK. 
Okay, a bottle opener goes with a bottle. Yep. Tennis racket, tennis ball. Let's see, what else do we have in here? I'm not even sure what I'm clicking on anymore. Tea kettle with a teacup. Tea cups. Feather and shield and a dude. Yep. That star is probably something we're gonna get here. Feather. Where's the feather go? Spoon. Oh, there it is. Feather in the ink. A sock. What does a sock go? I don't. Sock and a shoe? Yeah. So we have, what, two more to go? Oh, there's fork and a spoon. Moon and a moon. There we go. Let's see what's inside this box. Get me in there. A winder. Okay. That should go here. Okay, come on, Jack in the box. Pop. Aw, oh, it's like a ducky one. <laughs> Why is there a ducky in the box? Now I have a lens. Ooh, ooh, let's just do that. Uh, oh, and the plus is there too. Oh, more tracing. Yay. Look at my art. This is my art skill right here. Arts and Crafts Saturdays. Bring your own supplies. Look at that. 25 without skipping. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, I try to keep Fiona in my sight, but she keeps wandering to the lake. I'm going to read my mom. That's my mom? Oh, boy. There's something evil in the lake. Or maybe this is Fiona's mom. Oh, jeez, that's even... Oh, boy. There's something evil in the lake. I can feel it, though I cannot see it. Another child disappeared from the village again. People say it's the Kelpie, though that can't be real, can it? Packing up, meeting Jim in the chapel, the shade. Are we done reading our book? That's really sad. Oh, look, happy family. Well, maybe not the dad, but definitely the mother and daughter look happy. Jeez, she needs like a proper burial. That's just wrong. All right, let's go. Let's deal with this over here. Too many emotions. I can't handle it all. There are tiny symbols carved, but they are too small. Okay, well, I've got this magnifying glass. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Upon closer inspection, some of the symbols repeat. They do, do they? They certainly do. All the repeats here. We got this totally, just a matter of going through all this. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I've actually seen, what I haven't seen. A. No, let's just do A. There we go. Magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. Where are you? There we are. A to A. Didn't I just do that? Oh, a different kind of A. Apparently this A does not have a repeat. Fine. Uh, how many do I have to do? It looks like I gotta do two more. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the live stream. Here every Saturday. 
Sometimes one o'clock and sometimes four o'clock. Uh, okay, which one is it that I need to look at? Maybe it's easier to look at it this way. Those two are good. I actually have no idea which ones are left. Um, finding this really hard to visualize. That one I did already. Okay, which symbols are repeating that I haven't been able to find? Okay, that one's there. Now I need one more. Oh, found it. This one here, this one here. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think those were necessarily meant to be zodiac symbols or not. I don't know. But let's go inside. I'm really curious to see what's in this cave. And it's dark in here. Not anymore. What is this thing here? Jeez. Am I supposed to just throw it way the heck over there? There we go. This is creepy. Can't see anything in here. It's still too far for me to reach. Okay. What's over this way? This gear shaped hole looks strangely out of place. Why does it have like children's handprint here? Sheesh. Torch blazes brightly. Hmm. Okay, why is this seaweed here moving around like that? There's a big recess here for a flat disc. There sure is. Oh boy. <laughs> Too many symbols. I need a clue to make sense of this. It's a symbol for water and the number four. The statue is too far away for me to see. It's wedged in tight. All right. Looks like a dog bone. Too far away, too far away, too far away. Can't reach. So I must have to get like some bridge or something going on here. All right, fine. Not sure if this is going to help me or not, but nope. No such luck there. The first solution to the cave's control panel is on the cave's left side. Okay. Not sure what you're trying to say there, game. Would you like some fire, even though it's the symbol for water? Oh, maybe I can get some water out of there. I don't know. Let's try. No, no such luck. Hmm. Something's going on here. Why are these plants moving when I touch them? Burn the bushes. Whoop. No, burning them didn't do anything. Oh, the kelp weed has stopped moving. Okay. Let's burn all the kelp weed then. I'm not sure what that does for us, but sure. Let's do that. Some nice moving water down there, that's cool. 
torch blazes brightly. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I... Not sure. I don't even have any options. It's really just be here or be there. Nowhere else. Wood. I have a piece of wood. And I'm not afraid to use it. Something to do in this boat, apparently. Ah. Uh, what kind of hint is that? That's a terrible hint. Go to the boat and... Do what? Smack it with a piece of wood. No. How am I supposed to deal with that when the hobgoblin was dragged away kicking and screaming? No fair. Well, let's go this way then. I'll go up here. Uh, I tried to put the wood over the hole, but I'll try again. Nope. Nope. It will not let me. I don't see what else I can do in here other than put that star back there. Yeah. Which is weird because I don't actually have the star, so I don't know why the hint told me to go there. But whatever. It's all good. And that hint told me nothing. Let's see, maybe there's something else in there. Do 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 do. Key duplicating machine. No, nothing else in here. To the cliff! Yeah. Monkey. I beat you at your own game there, bud. Definitely reminds me of the monkey games in Nancy Drew. Oh, what, I can't remember which Nancy Drew that was, but man, those monkey games were brutal. Alrighty then. It's a strange looking piece of wood, that's for sure. Uh, I still have no idea what we're supposed to go. Such luck. The statue is too far away for me to see it. Where's my magnifying glass? I want to get over there. I want to reach it. That doesn't work. It's got to work. Well, I mean, this game is an older game, so it doesn't have kind of the hold your hand type hints. So, yeah. Like, that was weird. It, it just told me to go here, but to cut it, maybe? Oh, okay, fine. If it would have told me the hint was to cut the kelp, I would have cut the kelp. <laughs> of course, I don't know why I need to cut the kelp, but hey, that's okay. It's all good. Six out of six kelp. Where's the fairy? I don't seem to the fairy. Hmm. Now I do. Thanks, Julie, for pointing that out.
Alright, so where am I supposed to put this kelp weed stuff? So now what? Nothing to do here. Nothing to do here. The first solution to the cave's control panel is on the cave's left side. Totally, totally not a helpful hint at all. Yeah, it must be as part of the Kelpie's diet or something. So I see the dog bone over there, and I'm not exactly sure how this kelp weed's supposed to help me out here. I need like a flat surface, maybe, to tie it together? I wonder if I can transfer those notes to something. The gear shaped hole looks strangely out of place. Okay. Fiona was here. Wow. That's not right at all. What else is going on over there? Oh, hi. Welcome to the live stream. We are playing Otherworld. What was this one called? Spring Shadows? Shadows of Spring? I think it's the spring one. And uh, I'm kind of stuck. I don't have a clue as to what I'm supposed to be doing with this kelp weed. And it's telling me the solution is on the left side of the cave, which I don't necessarily know what that means. And I've got this random piece of wood. <laughs> Why do I have a random piece of wood, you ask? Well, sadly, I have no clue. Oh, I can definitely check it out. Actually, Julie, that's a great idea. Ah, uh, let's check it out, because it's clearly it's letting me do this. No, oh, maybe not that one. Wow, you just saved my world right there. Thank you very much. So now I have a sense of what I'm going to have to do for the rest of them. So what does he want? He sure does. He wants that. My friends told me to stay away from the lake, but I wasn't afraid. I'll show them. I can fight. I swear I can. And now I've got my gear that I need. See? Look at that. Look at that. And now I have a cool puzzle. Which... Maybe goes there? And now I have one of these things, but I still can't get into that yet. Well, let's go back over here. No, 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 no. Let's do this one. Oh, boy. Okay, well, they're all individual, so that I can live with. But the question is, what's right side up? Let's assume it's this way for now. Definitely looks like the Kelpie. Or the Goblin. Hobgoblin. It's the Hobgoblin! Wow! Hi there, buddy. Hobgoblin number four. Alright, let's go have a look. Hobgoblin four. Definitely the sweater. Now, he wanted rotten eggs. So... Maybe we need eggs? Um, no. What else would he want? Unless there's something in the first game that I forgot. Or, I mean, the first uh, recording session. Yeah, I've got the three eggs, but I don't know what the fourth item would be. Fiona, maybe? A girl? Uh, yeah, I'm just not sure what the fourth item is. 
Oh, a cane, apparently. Alright. Yeah, there we go. We got our next path up that way. It's a hobgoblin statue. Okay, folks. I'm just going to take a quick one minute break. I'm going to leave the live stream on, of course, but I need to get myself a fresh cup of coffee and maybe some uh, gummy numbers. So I'll be right back. Just give me a minute and I'll see you uh, very soon.